This is Dr. Ahmed. The first day, we're going to answer question number six about electricity from May, June 2018, paper 2-1. In this question, that talks about parallel and series circuits, okay, that ask about voltage and potential difference and uh, electric current. Okay, what do we have here in this question? They said that, first of all, define volt. And we know that volt is the unit of potential difference, which is which is defined as amount of energy given per each one column of charge. So if I want to define voltage, it's the unit of energy, which is U, per the unit of charge, which is what column? That's part A. Part B, the battery of the electromotive force, okay, is 4.5 volt. This is the battery that has an electromotive force of 4.5 volt. And negligible internal resistance is connected to two filament lamps, P and Q. These are the two filament lamps are connected in parallel, as you can see. So they have same voltage. They are connected in series with what? With the resistor R as shown in the figure. The current of lamp P is 0 0.15. What? So the current that passed through P, the filament lamp P is 0 0.15 ampere. And both of P and Q together, they have the same voltage because they are connected in parallel, and the current that pass from the battery that passes through R, it will be divided between P and what, and Q. What they said, the, R, the current voltage characteristic of the filament lamp as shown in the figure, you can see that it's curved, okay, because it's filament lamp, and the current increases, the temperature increases, the resistance increases, so we need more voltage to drive this current. That's why it's curved, not ohmic conductor, it's non-ohmic conductor. So use the figure to determine the current in the battery, explain your answer. So the, since they said that the current is 0 0.15, I will find the, the voltage across P, which is what, 2.7. And also I will know how much is the current that passes through the lamp, the filament lamp Q, which is 0 0.09, okay? Since both of them, again, they are connected in parallel, so, they have the same voltage and the current here, 0 0.09 ampere. And both of these, both of these lamps, okay, they are connected to R in series with the battery. So that means since P and Q are connected in parallel, they have, they have same potential difference, which is how much 2.7 volt. And from the graph, from the graph, we can find the current through Q. Now what do we have here? We know that the current I from the battery, it's equal to the current that passed through P plus the current that passes through Q, and it's 0 0.15 plus 0 0.09, and the addition of these, it would be 0 0.24 ampere. This is part BI. Double I, they ask about the resistance of the resistor R. Now, look here. Now we know that the voltage across P and Q, it's 2.7 volt. That means to the voltage Okay, it will be divided because they are connected in series. So 4.5 minus 2.7, that means the voltage across the resistor R it would be 1.8 volts. So if I want to do that, first of all, step EMF, okay, or the electromotive force of the battery, equal the voltage across the resistor plus the voltage across the parallel lamps. So 4.5 equal the voltage across the resistor plus 2.7. That means the voltage across the resistor is 1.8 volt. They ask about the resistance. So what I will do, I will use Ohm's law, V equal IR, and V, which is 1.8, equal the current, which we just find is 0 0.24 from the previous part, multiply by R, divide by 0 0.24, divide by 0 0.24, the resistance, it would be 7.5 Ohm. Next part, it's what? Triple I, the filament lamp, the filament lamp of 
the, the two wires are made by same material. Same material, that means they have same water resistivity. Okay, so same role. Okay, at their operating temperature in the circuit, the diagram of the, of the wire of lamp P is twice the diameter of the what wire of lamp Q. Determine the ratio length of P over uh, for the lamp, the length of what of Q, lamp Q. So first of all, we have to know that P and Q, they ask about the length. So we have to know that the formula here, that's the diameter, okay? The diameter of P is twice the diameter of what? Of Q, that means twice the radius, okay? So here R, R. And the length, okay, we have length of, of P and length of Q of unknown. We have to know the ratio of both of them. And we know that the resistance, it's inversely proportional with the current that passed through both of them, okay? One over the what current of P, and here one over what the current of what V, V over what the current of what of Q, because they have the same voltage, which is 2 point what 2.7. Now they ask about the ratio. Now we know that the formula the resistance equal rho that, rho L over A, okay? That means since they have the same resistance, same resistivity, so that means it would be R A over L, that means it would be what constant value. So what that means, that means, okay, I will use the formula R, R A over what L equal R A over L for P, for P, for P, for Q, for Q, for Q, which is supposed to be equal. Now, we will make the, uh, uh, length of P over length of Q as a subject of the formula. So length of P over length of Q, I will do cross switch multiplication. So it will be R P. Instead of writing area, we know that the area it's pi what R square. So I will use R square because pi with pi cancel out each other, divided by what? Divide the resistance of what of Q multiply by the length or the radius, sorry, of Q, what, square. Now, also, we know that uh, the current is inversely proportional with what? With the resistance. So it would be a uh, current of Q, okay, instead of RP, uh, R, RQ here in the bottom, and here, current of P, RP square, RQ, what, square. These are the values that I have now. I'll substitute the current of Q, which is 0 0.09, okay, multiplied by radius of P, which is twice the radius of Q from here, okay, square divided by the current that passes through the uh, filament lamp P, which is 0 0.15, multiplied by R square, R square with R square cancel out each other, two square, it would be four, and by using the calculator, the ratio it would be 2.4, that's the ratio, okay? So this is the answer here in this part of the question. Next, what do we have? The filament wire of lamp Q breaks and stop conducting. Let's go back. Lamp Q here, this one, breaks. So it doesn't have any current through it. So that means that they are not in parallel anymore. So that means the new resistance, combined resistance here, it will be what? It will be less or it will be more. Exactly, as the parallel resistor, the combined resistor of them, it will be have less resistance than any one of them. So when we take off one of them, that means the resistance now it's great, get, getting higher. So as the resistance getting higher, that means the voltage across P, it will be also what? Getting higher, right? So what they ask here? State and explain qualitatively, okay, qualitatively, okay, the value, the effect of the resistance of lamp, what the resistance of lamp P, what happens to it. Now we say that there will be less potential difference across what the resistor, because now they have greater resistance across what 
what a greater resistor across P by itself, because the, the combined resistor, which is less, as we take off one of them, the resistance of both of them, there is no one, there's no Q, there's no only P, it would be greater. So that means the voltage across it would be what? Greater and the voltage across what? Across the resistor, it will be less. So that means the, the total resistance in series, it will be what? Less, making the current that pass through what? Through the whole circuit will be greater. So as the total current increases, as we said in the beginning, okay, that means there, is a, there will be heating effect and the resistance will be what? Higher. So by, by removing Q as a resistor and parallel, the part, the parallel part resistance P increases. And the combined resistance for the circuit for the circuit will be higher making the resistance of filament P increases. And that's it. Good luck.